powerful swells that boil and roll through the North Pacific have little to get in their way as they spin off the coasts of Japan, Siberia and Alaska until they hit Hawaii and in particular the seven short miles of volcanic reef that sits along the north shore of Oahu. The sudden shallowness of this reef and the staggering energy bundled up in each swell makes for a potent combination when the water and the reef meet. Winter season on the North Shore is when you see a serious display of power of the ocean as she charges to the shore, pitching high, monstrous tubes out of the reef and onto the thundering sand. For the most part, Hawaii offers little in the way of a perfect barrel, but there is no question it is home to a colossal array of jaw-dropping and bone-crunching sessions and puts up some of the most challenging tube riding on the planet. The North Shore in winter is not for the faint-hearted. The reef, when combined with the right swell direction, size and period, can suddenly morph waves into giant caverns of ore. It is these humbling house-sized green rooms that can transform a surfer into a maestro or a martyr in just moments. Just how these big wave gladiators cheat death is hard to fathom some days. Death and glory, death all glory. On any big day at Hawaii's iconic pipeline, there is plenty of opportunity to invite both. And there is always a wide-eyed crowd lining the beach to see it all unfold. While filming in Hawaii for Iron the Barrel in January this year, we witnessed and filmed some of the most epic and memorable moments of the 2012-2013 North Shore winter season. There were inspiring free surfing glory rides from the likes of Dave Orsell, Kelly Slater, John John Florence, Jamie O'Brien and Takayuki Waikita. There were also plenty of daunting wipeouts in too many days when we heard the ambulance sirens wailing up the Cam Highway to pick up wounded warriors who came out second best against the reef. One of those times were in the first days of February at the Pipeline Pro, when 15 foot monsters sorely tested their competitors, throwing it all on the line, trying to advance to the next round. Many brave men came undone, and it's a mystery why more didn't make that trip to the hospital. You simply can't make a surf film about barrels or surfing full stop without tipping your hat to Hawaii. It's where it all started, and so long as these thumping waves keep breaking along the North Shore, surfers from around the world will come to pay tribute. To the surfing gladiators who get amongst these huge Hawaiian barrels, we salute you, and look forward to seeing you carve your magic up on the big screen on Eye on the Barrel, presented by Carlton Dry, when the film rolls out in November. Aloha until next time, from behind the curtain.